Hey, I'm building a storage shed in my backyard right now, and uh, as I was building the floor and the walls, uh, I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk to you about least common multiple, because this is a good example of this here. I, uh, first of all, obviously made the floor, and I had to put floor joists before I put the plywood down, and the floor joists, I have spaced them every 12 inches. And then I afterwards built the walls, and the wall studs I have built uh, every 16 inches. And on, if you have a look at the tape measure, come on over and look at the tape measure. Since those are both common spacings when you're doing construction, they have special little marks on the tape measure for those two things. So the, the floor joists, every 12 inches, 12, 24, 36, and so on, they have a little black mark because you want to be able to identify those really quickly. But also on here, they have little red marks at 16, 32, because that's where you would normally do the spacing on wall studs. All right, and now the reason that I thought about uh, least common multiples is because if you keep going down the tape measure here, the next one is, you got both here, right? You have 48 inches as a black mark and a red mark, right? Because 48 is a multiple of both those things. Each of these marks is a multiple of what you're, what you're starting with, right? Each of the black marks is a multiple of 12. Each of the red marks is a multiple of 16. When you get to 48, it's a multiple of both of them. Now, if you kept going here, obviously it would, it would show more. 60, 72, those are all multiples of 12. And then 64, 80, multiples of 16. 84 is a multiple of 12. And then again, here we get to one where it's a multiple of both of them. It's a common multiple. 96 is a common multiple because it's a multiple of 12 and a multiple of 16. You could keep going here, right, and you get more. Now, a lot of times you talk in math about the least common multiple. The least common multiple is just the first one you get to down there. If we go back over here, 48, right? 48 is the least common multiple. A lot of times you work with fractions, you work with different things, you need to find that, that number for, for a couple of numbers. All right, maybe we'll look at the... Whoa. Let's look at this on paper and it might make a little bit more sense to you. All right. As a plane flies overhead here. Least common multiple. A couple different ways you can find the least common multiple of two numbers. One is basically just to do what's, what's done on the tape measure there, which is just Write them out, make a list of each one. Write out some multiples of 12. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. And multiples of 16, 16, 32, 48, and so on, right? And this is the first one you come to that's in both lists, right? 48 is a common multiple, it's the lowest one. If you kept going, you'd get to what we had before, 96 would be in both lists, right? But there'd be no other common ones before that. That's one way you can find least common multiple, just make two lists, or three lists if you had more than a couple numbers. The other way you can do it is by breaking down each number into prime factors. So if you know how to do that for each of these, which I'm gonna assume you do, if you broke this down, you'd get two times two times three. And for this one, you'd end up, if you broke it down all the way, you get two times two times two times two. And uh, I'll ignore the ice cream truck traveling by right now. If you're, uh, if you're trying to find the least common multiple and you know the prime factors, you can look at it as you want it to be a common multiple. So you need the number to have enough factors to cover each one. So it's a multiple of 12, so it's gonna have all of these as factors, this common multiple we're talking about. So it's gonna have at least two twos and a three. But it also is a multiple of this, so it's gotta have at least four twos. So you actually need a couple more of these here, right? Because it's gotta have enough twos to cover either one, and it's gotta have enough threes to cover either one. So that's it, right? Because, let me write it out again here. it's got to have enough to make a 12 and it's got to have enough to make it 
a 16 there, right? It's all the factors to cover both of them. All right, so that's a couple different ways to find least common multiple. All right.